In this video, I'm just going to show you how to generate the PAA trees and how to use the uh, question tree tool. So be nice and short, just want to quickly show you that separately here. So um, as I've shown in another video how to use this, you want to stick in your your main search keyword phrase here into the search bar or you can stick it into the Google search here and use this extract button. But I'm going to go ahead and extract the people also asked questions to, for, directly from Google. So I'm just going to select two levels in one click and then click extract so we can get the data and it's going through there and it's actually clicking and grabbing the questions so if you're not familiar with how the tree works let me just really quickly show you here just so you understand so on Google here I just search organic vegetable gardening and if you come down the people also asked and if I click this question new questions will appear underneath that are related to the one that I just clicked so you can see some put underneath. Now if I continue to click that same question, more questions keep being added. So that's what the number of clicks are. So the levels are how many levels there are. So when you click through here, that's you're on your first level until you finally reach down to the end of that level and all the other questions are there, that's the levels. And then um, obviously the amount of times you click the same question is the number of quick uh, clicks in order to get more questions for that particular level. So once you do that to create a tree, you just click the PAA tree here, a button, and you create your tree inside of the tree tool, the question tree tool. Let's talk about how to use this tool. First, in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see this little white box. It's like a viewport. And so if I zoom in and out by using the zoom in and out buttons here, you'll see the viewport come into play here so then you can move the viewport around to get where you want this is handy when you have a lot of questions in the tree but for now we just have a couple and then you could see how it works this is the initial search and then these are the first four questions that showed up after I searched and then as I that as I opened up this question these new ones would show up open up this one these new ones would show up and so on and so forth <clears throat> and, they, and these are the levels. So this is this zero level, this is level one, level two. And so when you click on one of these questions, left click with your mouse, this little window will appear on the side and it will give you the data for that particular question. So you've got the question, you've got the description, which basically is the answer to that question. And then you've got the link title of the page, the web page that it's pointing to, and then the actual web link. So now you can click that link and go directly to that web page to analyze it more. And you can copy these questions and use it to create content in your AI or send it to your content creator. To, to uh, copy these, you can just triple click, one, two, three, and then control C on your keyboard or right click and copy. Of course, you can go control A or command A on your, on your Mac to select all and control C to copy or right click and copy. Or you can right click and select all and right click and copy. Then you can grab that. Then if you click anywhere else in here, it just closes it and you can see the different question data there. You have some other options here. You can actually search. So, and then you'd see when you click here, it works better when it's really full screen to be able to use that feature. But it gets a little tricky when it's a little bit smaller, but it helps you find the question really quickly. And then we have some other options here. We can view the tree in different ways. So you can do a vertical or horizontal. And you can also um, compact it. So it's a little easier to read. Instead of doing the tree at the end, it just goes to a straight line. So if we go back to vertical, you can kind of see it better like this. Then there is this other button here to change the dark and light. And you also have it down here, light and dark mode. You can go full screen. You can center it with this center button. And then you can also view this tree in your default web browser. So if you click this open in browser, so this is in Chrome, and you can have all this functionality right directly in Chrome. In fact, this is a standalone HTML file that you can deliver to your clients or deliver to your content creators. And I'll show you that just in a second. So that's kind of handy. And so that said, you can come down here and you can go File, and you can save to an HTML tree. 
And to save this question tree, there's already one there, so I'm going to put two. And then you could see this question tree here, and it's just an HTML file. Just think of it like a PDF file, but it's kind of has some interactivity to it. It's all self-contained, so you can just deliver that like any file, like as an attachment to an email, or you can zip it up. Zipping it up is pretty easy. Right-click in Windows and click Send to, and then compress the zip folder or file. And now you can send that file any way you want, upload it somewhere to Google Drive or wherever. And then when your client gets it, all they do is just double-click it, and it'll open up in their default web browser. And then they got this functionality. They can click on it, and you could tell them to make content around those certain subjects, those trees. You can also open previously ones that you saved in there. So we can open up this other one that we had there. See, this one was a lot bigger. You can see all the questions there. Cool. And you can also save it from the file. So you can go export, same, same thing. You can save there to a HTML file. And you can also open a PA tree from here. So same as clicking this button, if you just do this, it will create the PA tree, question tree in the window. So, and then you can also right click on the grid and there's also those same options here as well. So several ways to create that, that tree. And then finally, You'll notice up here where these three little lines are. If you click that, you can export this to PDF. So you can set, set that and you go export to PDF. And then you can click it here or click open where it saved it. So it just saved it in my downloads folder. So if you open that up, you can see we have a PDF containing. So you can deliver this PDF as well to your clients, and you can also save it as a PNG or SVG. So we save it as PNG. It'll save in the same spot, and you open that up. It's the same idea as a PDF. And so if you left click anywhere in here, you can actually move this around. You left click in the black area somewhere. Then you can zoom with your mouse wheel if you could do that as well. Or you can use these little zoom buttons down here. You can also right click and drag too, so that's pretty cool. So that's basically how you create your PAA question trees from using the PAA extractor. So it's fairly simple, just clicking the button, and it's pretty intuitive to use that little tool. And again, you can also open it up in your default web browser and have access to those um, functionalities well within your browser. Thanks for watching.